With all the Sonic merch that gets released nowadays, it's hard to think about what it was like just a couple years ago. Like back in my day of 2018, we got hyped over this, but all because of a certain motion picture, now there's an entire generation of collectors who will never know what the Tomy Battlegrounds were like. The Sonic movie really reunited the franchise into the mainstream, with it being promoted, talked about, and loved all over the world now. And of course, with such a success, Sega and Paramount wanted to cash in. Before long, there were toys, books, plushes, Build-A-Bears, etc. But with everything the first movie's merch accomplished, there was absolutely no stopping the title wave of merch when Sonic 2 came out. Literally everything and everything was being slapped with a Sonic 2 stick and we were all for it. And now with the third Sonic movie on the way, as well as a TV series, what better time to talk about all the merch the Sonic movie franchise has made? And this time, in a channel first, ranking every piece of it. I'm gonna go through nearly every piece of Sonic movie merch on the market and put them all from worst to best. There will be a few exceptions though, like clothes, re-releases, exclusive stuff, like the promo stuff of the world premiere, stuff that basically just has a Sonic sticker on something, and basically boring stuff like that that I only have much to say about. And just like I do in the 10 words videos, when I can and don't have much to say about things individually, I'm just gonna group them all together. Oh yeah, and it's probably not a big deal anymore, but just to be safe, spoilers for Sonic 2 or whatever. So let's just hop right into it. First on the list is, in my opinion, the absolute worst piece of Sonic movie merch in existence. Without a doubt, it's the two plushes made by PCO Group. These two were released in both Germany and Russia exclusively in movie theaters, and Jesus fuck, how something that looks like like this got on the market is truly baffling. Like I know Sonic's design being changed messed up a ton of merchandise for the first movie, but there's just no excuse for these. They don't even look like Sonic. Like it just looks like a completely unrelated cartoon character trying to be Sonic. These things are just disgusting. Next up was one that was just barely better than Rock Bottom in my opinion. The Sonic Spin Dash playset. With the weird ass translucent pieces, the giant ugly handle sticking out, and the flat Eggman drone, this thing's already pretty bad. But oh god, then you get to the Sonic figure. What I said about the previous thing still applies here, like this thing just doesn't even look like Sonic anymore. It's clearly inspired by the original design, but he just looks so so wrong. Like, this thing looks like a 2015 Sonic parody animation brought to life. Next up is our first Sonic 2 item, being Jax's 9-inch Knuckles plush. Now, for being a $10 retail plush, you wouldn't expect this thing to be breathtaking. I at least expected him to not look like he was sucking on 10 warheads. Like, honestly, everything about this guy is kind of okay, but then you just, you just get to that mouth, bro. Like, did they even look at this thing? How is this allowed? After him, we get to our first book on the list, being the Let's Back Up, Speeding Through My First Movie. I put this one so low, because Sonic's supposed to be talking the whole time, but he's just way too out of character and doesn't talk like himself at all. Like, he just comes off as a generic animated movie protagonist 637952. I shouldn't get angry over a children's book, but you know what? This shit's disgusting. After that, there's another Jax plush being their baby Sonic plush. Ugh. He doesn't even look like baby Sonic. He looks like a freaking alien. Like, this is another one clearly based off the original design, but holy hell, the original design itself looks better than this. Like, how does this design come out looking this bad? It gets the edge, though, compared to previous stuff, since it's actually pretty decent quality. And next up is this absolutely horrid abomination, this Sonic popcorn bucket. Released in only Thailand, from what it looks like, this man looks like he wants to cause a school lockdown. Like, none of the other things in this video I generally feel scared of. Of, but I don't know, man. The way he just looks at you with those eyes looking up, he looks like he wants to go straight into my soul. After him, there's his later incarnation, the 9 inch Sonic plush by Jax. Gotta say, he is better than Knuckles, but I mean, all but two things on the star, so that's not really saying much. He's got the same goofy look to him as Knuckles, but at least here they stitched his mouth instead of trying to sew it in. But that doesn't really save him from his flat ass colors and the way too thick stitch lines around his eyes. Then we get to another movie promo item being this water bottle. It's honestly kind of cool given how it's Sonic head with a fold up straw that lets you drink Sonic spinal fluids, but the problem with him is just his face. Like, his head sculpt's pretty good, but Jesus. Like, it could be a tad worse. I guess, but Zam, does he look drugged out? MF looks like he just caught Rouge in the shower. Then there's the official Sonic Movie Halloween costume, which it... It just speaks for itself. Like, it's not even trying to hide being based off the original design, considering this thing came out before it was even confirmed he was getting a redesign. And he's got that fat white stomach circle, as well as his ears being orange for some reason. I don't really know how that happened. But I mean, to be fair, this could have gone a lot worse. It's at least faithful to OG movie Sonic, I guess. Next up are the official novelizations for both films. I'm sticking these here since they're just kind of boring, I guess. Like, the only real thing of note here is the reference to Mobius in the sequels. Hell, even the covers are pretty lame, if I'm being honest. And yeah, that really isn't much to say about it moving on. After those, we get to another plush, being the 13 inch talking plush by Jax. Being honest, I never liked how this guy looked. Like, I wouldn't say he looks bad, he just looks so cheap. Like, instead of giving him actual fur, they just gave him this crappy-ass printed-on fur texture. Though I will say, while his face does look a tad off, it's definitely passable. As for the quotes, they're alright, I guess. Nothing crazy like, um, meow, or hello everyone, welcome back to my live stream, but I get the job done. Next up are these cup toppers that were again released by PCO Group. These are little figures that you put on top of your drink when you went to the movie theater to see Sonic, and they're alright, I guess. The first set was clearly based off OG Sonic, but honestly, these look pretty dope. Well, I mean, for the poses at least, since it's OG movie Sonic, and there really isn't any saving that. It was even supposed to be a third one, but it got scrapped. Kinda glad it did, cause uh... Yeah. And around the same time those came out, there was also this one that was only in Peru. It's easily way better than those guys though, considering it actually has some form of resemblance to the final design. And he's in an actually pretty cool pose with a cool grass base. But the one thing that makes no damn sense is how the sequel Sonic is again looking like OG Sonic. Like, 
why? It wasn't even a movie problem like last time. They chose to do this. And even worse, it got approved. Tales is cool, though. Now we get to the infamous Baby Sonic Build-A-Bear plush. Well, yet again, obviously based off OG Sonic, this time in baby flavor. At least this one is great quality. He's got nice embroidery, a cool logo, and even an okay mouth. Though the quality can't save it from his horror design. Like, this man ain't even wearing gloves. At least the shoes he can buy alongside. He's okay, I guess. Going back to Jax, here's the giant Eggman robot playset. Included with a big old figure of Death Egg, which is completely flat. What the f***? Like, okay, I guess I get it. They wanted to make a more cost-effective set, so the little boys who only have so much money can get it, but come on, at least paint them. Though this bridge is pretty cool, not gonna lie. And being what confirms Super Sonic's existence in the film, that includes a 2.5-inch figure of the guy. Besides his green eyes, he's pretty good. The one weird thing is they had to make his quills rubber so he could whack into the robot. Kinda weird. And is it just me, or can I just not for the life of me get this thing to actually hit it and knock it down? Like, I literally just tried yeeting Super Sonic at him. He wouldn't fall over. Like, what am I doing wrong? After that, there's a Sonic 2 Meet My Friends and Enemies book, which, gotta say, honestly, they did a decent job on this. Like, the text is constantly in Sonic's character, and it's honestly pretty good at that. Like, this thing is just so charming. Again, it is just a kid's book, so it's not going to be all too crazy, but hey, I appreciate the effort. Plus, it includes free stickers inside. Yes! Next up's the Minecraft version of the Sonic movie popcorn bucket. Released in Mexico, yeah, this man looks like Jeff. If I'm being honest, this thing kind of works somehow, though. Like, there's a few design quirks, like his weird avatar-looking head spike middle thing, but honestly, they did a really good job with his face. Not gonna lie, this thing would be a cool thing to have now. Moving on, there's another duo of books, being the two Mad Libs based on both films. These are pretty creative, if I'm being honest. Like, the different things you can put together are pretty top-notch. Like, the Sonic 2 one has an entire getaway ad for the Mushroom Planet, which is just great. Like, I could tell they had fun making these things. This would be something that would be fun to do on stream which I stream now. You should watch my live stream. After him, though, we get to the Toy Factory Knuckles plush, and goddamn, do they fix him. Like, holy hell, they clearly based it off the Jax one, but made it infinitely better. He has an actual mouth, and nice eyes, and 3D knuckles. How an amusement park plush is probably gonna be sold in one of those mall kiosk cart things next to a bunch of bootlegs. I did a $10 retail ones beyond me. Next up's the Baby Sonic keychain, which is included with Sonic Colors Ultimate. Only because I assume the Cough Cough made tickets sell less in Japan, therefore they gave less away and had to get rid of them somehow. But as for the keychain, it's honestly kind of cool. You get this chibi looking Baby Sonic, which is wearing gloves like the final design, but has no shoes like the the original for some reason and overall it's pretty nice for a freebie then there's a sonic fuzzy head keychain that was released once again only in mexico he's pretty good quality all in all but the colors are a tad weird with his mouth being kind of orange and his muzzle and ears being way too light but overall another solid promo item moving on we get to another toy factory plush being their baby sonic this little boy is really weird looking but also really good looking at the same time like he's yet again based off og movie sonic he has no shoes pink ears for some reason and blue hands yet somehow he just looks good like he's great quality i guess but we all know that don't mean shit with baby sonic plushes so what happened here i think it's maybe just his face being really cute and working really well, and it distracts him the weirdness of the plush. I don't know, this guy's really good and I don't understand. Next up is the Diamond Select Toys PVC Movie Sonic statue. If you were a Sonic collector in 2020, then you know how damn long it took this thing to come out. It was shown at Toy Fair 2020, but it took over a year later for it to actually go up to buy on Entertainment Earth. As for the statue itself, it's honestly really good. His pose is sick, he's got cool detail, the electricity is dope, he's really fucking tiny. Yeah, so this guy kind of clickbaited everyone with his real size. Like, turns out he's basically just a Jax figure on a base, which is why it's getting a bit lower on the list. Here's another fuzzy boy, being the Jax 13 inch Sonic 2 plush. He's for sure an improvement over the first one, having real fur on him this time. And beyond that, he's got way more accurate shoes and a better face, in my opinion. Though he is locking the talking feature, but I doubt anyone's gonna lose sleep over it. Overall, this guy's a massive step up. Plus, Ben Schwartz started this thing called Travel Sonic, where he left one of these plushes at an airport and you're supposed to find him and bring him on your flight, and then leave him at the next airport for another person to find and continue the chain. It's really cool. Ben Schwartz is a Chad. Then we get to probably the most widely known Sonic movie merch, the McDonald's promotion. With eight toys in total, as well as some extra paper ones, the set includes two different knuckles, two different tails, two different Sonics, the Death Egg robot, as well as a secret Super Sonic toy. As for the toys themselves, they're pretty cool. I've seen some people say they're disappointed with them, and I mean, I guess I see where they're coming from, but in my opinion, these are pretty dope. They're all just wind-ups, but like, what other feature would fit Sonic toys better? And on top of those, Canada got an extra Knuckles and Tails, and Europe got those paper activity kit things, instead of the big boy toys. After that, we got onto the Toy Factory Tails, without a doubt being the best of the three once again. He's got great proportions, a really nice face with a great expression, and cool tails. While they do use printing, as well as a few other things on the plush, honestly, it still works really well. The only downside of this guy is his flat hair tufts. That's not even really an issue. This guy's great. Going back to Toy Factory, here's our main movie Sonic. Coming in two sizes, this guy's just dope. He's got great proportions, a nice face, dope fur, with the large one even sparkling to resemble Sonic's electricity. Also, they purposely didn't give him ear fur, and made it look like the blue fur is just covering up, which honestly, that works really well. Nice job. After that, we get to the official poster book for Sonic 2. On first glance, you wouldn't think much of this when you open it up, but dear god, is this shit slap hard. These posters are just dope, plain and simple. Some are better than others, but damn, these are clean. Plus, there's this funny looking 
2D Sonic art, which is clearly based off this render. Moving on, we got another Tails item, being the Jack's 4-inch Tails figure. He's got basically everything you'd want. A great scale, nice texture, good quality, a literal gun. The only problem I have with him is his kind of mega mind looking head when you look at him, right? And the quality control on him doesn't really seem to be the best, but it's pretty mid-paint. For two in a row, here's another Tails item, being the Build-A-Bear. This guy's really nice. He's got a super cute design, really nice texture, and a high quality feel. I really like how his tails look here. They just look really nice for some reason. Though the main issue with this guy is that this MF is cosplaying as Melman, with that tall ass neck. He's still really cool though. After him is a second 4 inch Jax figure, being Eggman. On paper, you think that this guy would look pretty bad since they're trying to replicate an actual actor, but in reality, they did an amazing job. Like, Jim Carrey's likeness for a $10 figure is done so well, and beyond that, he's just got a great sculpt with great detail. Plus, double articulated elbows and knees for some reason, sure, I'll take it. Plus, he comes with Austrian goat milk. What else could you want? Onto another 4 inch product, being the Jack Sonic movie collection, aka the Sonic 3 pack. You got three get up Sonic War in the second film, all done extremely well. But the sculpting here is really good. They did a really good job with all the details, especially on the party Sonic. I am a bit miffed though that the Siberian Sonic doesn't have his goggles though. Those are adorable. But I could imagine these things being a lot worse. Like they could have just done some car shit and covered Sonic as snow and called it a day. Next up is the Sonic Speed RC set by Jax. At first, this thing didn't really seem all that appealing. And I thought it was just gonna be a dumb kid's toy. But damn, this thing is dope. For one, you got this incredible Sonic figure on top with an amazing sculpt. And even has articulated arms, which I could have easily gotten away with not doing. And for another, this thing's just fun, man. Like seeing him spin around so damn fast with the lights just looks so dope and I'm honestly glad they made this. It's so dumb but so cool. This thing's awesome. Next is the final playset, being the Tornado. I'm really glad we got this as a movie set, since it seems Jack sure as hell isn't doing a mainline one anytime soon. But as for this one, it's really nice. It's got a clean shade of red which makes it look high quality, a nice play feature of the propeller spinning, and since it's a tad small, they gave us two figures. A re-release of 2.5 inch Sonic, as well as an awesome variant of Tails which gives him his pilot goggles. I agree with Sharax though, OVA years and bangs sticking out supremacy. Moving on to the final book, being of course the IDW prequel comic. This thing is just magical. It's got five stories to take place between the two films, and they're all amazing. Sonic's involves him stopping a bank robbery, Tail searches for Sonic through several classic levels, Knuckles is kidnapped and forced to defeat a monster Thor Ragnarok style, Agent Stone infiltrates and takes over the Mean Bean coffee shop, Ayo is Vanessa, and Eggman fights a race of sentient mushroom monsters. This thing is just such a love letter to both movies. All the characters are spot on, the art's even better than the IDW mainline. This thing's based. After that, we reach the top three. The three best pieces of Sonic 2 merch on the planet, in my opinion. Firstly, we have 4-inch Jack's Knuckles. This guy is spot on with a sculpt. Almost every part of his body is absolutely perfect. And the V-shaped chest was truly done justice here. The one downside to him, though, is his mouth. It's just kind of derpy when you look at it. But if I'm being honest, it doesn't really bother me all that much. Everything else is just so damn good it makes up for it. He's got a great sculpt, great detail, and just overall fantastic. At number two, we got who else but 4-inch movie Sonic. I love nearly everything about this guy. His sculpt is to die for. He has an awesome expression, extreme accuracy, dope shoes. He's just so great in every aspect of his sculpt. Again, though, this guy does have one downside. Being that every single one of them has this ugly looking paint splotch on his chest, I don't understand why this happened or why that's even a problem, but honestly, I do not really care. This guy's just based, without a doubt, my favorite Sonic figure of the decade so far. And that brings us to the final entry. In my right opinion, the greatest Sonic movie product to be released to the public. What else but the 2.5 inch movie figure collection, including five figures with Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Eggman, and a Buzz Bomber. This thing is awesome. For only 20 bucks, you get everything you could want, all four main characters, and an extra bonus figure for free. The figures themselves are just beautiful. They're basically just scaled down versions of the four inch ones, but they are extremely faithful to them. Like, extremely. Like, they have the same expressions, poses, details, and expressions all sculpted in the tiny little scale. Hell, they even managed to make Eggman look good in the scale, which is an achievement all on its own. This is just such a great product. Like, I've seen people complain that this is out of stock everywhere, but like, what do you expect? This is just a perfect product for anyone who enjoyed the movie. So here's my ranking of every single main piece of Sonic movie merch that was released. It was pretty cool to go back over the past few years and see how the Sonic movie evolved over the years. We went from disgusting abominations that sat alongside Chris Pratt, to speculating if Keanu was gonna voice Shadow. He's not, by the way. It was fun to go through all this and see what revitalized Sonic into the juggernaut he is today. But anyway, that's it for me. So, uh, subscriber... I did not write the end of the script. I, I never wrote the ending joke. Um, let's think. Um, uh, Pokemon Oreos. I'm looking at Pokemon Oreos right now. Yeah, the subscriber Pokemon Oreos.